Hey everybody, it's Paul from Two Bears Homestead. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today, this quick vlog is just gonna be about what the project we're working on around the house, and that is this. That is giving me anxiety. <laughs> That's the shelf, I pulled it out of our pantry, which you see behind me over there, that white space. I, um, through the holidays and, you know, just kind of, like, the pantry got into disarray, and I, I, I don't know what happened, but it, like, it was never completely set up the way I wanted it set up, so we are de deconstructing it today, pulling everything out. We're going to put a shelf above the shelf rack for, like, you know, the, the stuff that you don't use and, you know, often, you know, parts to, like, you know, the KitchenAid uh, attachment, stuff that's just... You know, it just needs to be up and out of the way. And then um, I just need to organize it a little bit. This will be the only time you get to see my pantry, uh, you know, on YouTube or on the Internet at all. So um, this is my working space. This is not my uh, my um, full pantry, if you will. So this is just because literally, I mean, and it's in disarray. So it's literally the pantry's right there and then my kitchen's right here. So it's all just, uh, you know, all kind of in my working space. So we are going to kind of show you what we're doing and uh, off we go. So what we have on the top shelf is just all my KitchenAid attachments and things that we don't use on any kind of regular basis. You know, extra pans, plasticware, that kind of stuff. I put these in the middle because I do use them more than um, any of this stuff. But I just wanted to make sure it was up out of the way. I have a step stool right here so I can always just grab them. But uh, that's the top shelf. So I bought all that real estate back on my regular shelving. Okay, so here is the final, I guess, walkthrough of my pantry. The only time you'll see this on video um, from this point forward. But basically, the pantry is right there. And I have the door open a little bit, so it's just easier for the video's sake. But this is my front door here. And, but that used to actually just be a window. So this window had a duplicate window here. And then that front door was in that room going out like you can see if you can see through the front door there's like a little deck balcony there we added all that in just so we can move the front door over to here because that was a that was a foyer it was a weird use of space i mean i'm sure it was okay but you know it just un, it was non-functional and obsol functionally obsolete if you will for our home so we enclosed that put two ball hitch doors on there and made that a pantry so it worked out really well outside of the pantry is this little what do you want to call that a hutch or sideboard or whatever um it's something just cheap that i bought on amazon slapped together uh, i needed it to be more functional than pretty but it kind of works with the house and that just has like my some extra stuff out there some, some apple sauces and you know ketchup that i made a couple some can some dry beans just really you know you know, it takes some stuff out of the pantry, but it also serves the purpose. But the real purpose of this was getting the bottom storage. And then the, the bottom cabinet down there has just like canning supplies, just the, the um, like fermenting weights and fermenting springs and, you know, the salts, the citric acid, all the little miscellaneous tools that come with canning are all kind of down there. Like the rings and the jars and all that stuff are in a different place. So we're gonna go into the pantry. I'm just gonna open these doors and then step back a little bit. So kind of like right where those bags are hanging used to be where the front door was. The door used to go out that way. So now that door's here and it works out really well. So we got the freezer in there. And then we have the rack that I purchased. On the door, we added the, um, what do you call that? The baggy racks, the saran wraps and all that fun stuff. That was eating up valuable real estate on the shelf and it was just like a clutter mess. So, and it really was giving me anxiety. And then, so when I open the door, this flat end of the rack here is kind of like the first stuff that we use, the first stuff that we grab. So I made it in such a way that it's the, that stuff's right there. So we have, on the top shelf of the rack is just like bulk spices, you know, the bulk, not like the big bulk, but you know, the, let's call it the refill containers, you know, my, my, um, my salts, my peppers, you know, the oregano there and, you know, just, just nothing major because most of my spices are actually in the kitchen. <clears throat> the second rack down is just my uh, supermarket canned goods. 
Now, I don't really use a lot of this, not make most of this stuff myself, but I had kind of ran out of some stuff, so I had to kind of buy through the holidays. But, you know, like this will go away, that'll go away, and then I'll make my own. And then, uh, you know, canned corn. Now, I don't, I don't can corn, so, you know, I'll, I'll just, and I don't use a whole lot of corn. And then on the end down here is like the packaged gravies. It's just an old refrigerator container. I just find that easier to keep on hand. And then this is where all my canned goods are that I, that are out in rotation. So this is all just everything I use for daily cooking. It's all kind of right here. So, um, you know, I have some, you know, bouillonnaise, there's some chicken, there's, this is going to be a mystery jar because I didn't label it. So it's going to be either Spanish or Moroccan, but it's going to be good, whatever it is. And then the next rack down has my dehydrator. Now I normally pull the dehydrator out and I'm like, well, that's not what my original intent was in designing this. So I wanted the dehydrator in this pantry to be functional in the pantry. So the next load I run, I'll try. My only concern was, and my, you know, is that there's no actual ventilation in here. So the doors have to be left open and that's fine. So we'll give it a shot. And if it works, I mean, the thing weighs like 12 pounds. I can carry that out into the kitchen if I need to. So we have the top shelf here, which we've already talked about earlier, but all the, you know, the attachments and just stuff that we don't use a lot often, but it's easy to get to with a footstool some extra storage up there and then the top shelf here is like this is those those spices and the uh bulk salter there so this here is like my baking stuff now i have a little bit more than i normally do because um i didn't bake through the holidays this year because i had a death in the family so it kind of just ate time up so that kind of went by the wayside, but I will use some of this stuff. And normally I don't have this much here. And then, uh, you know, well, there's cornstarch. Everybody has cornstarch. And then in that far corner up there is just kind of, you know, extra, you know, like bowls, kitchen utensils, things like that. On top of the freezer is uh, we have an extra coffee machine back there. And then up in the very, where's the, up there is a juicer. And then over here is my other like cheapy dehydrator uh, crock pot. And then, you know, we have these guys, which I was just struggling to find a home for them, but they are, I'll hold it in front of the freezer, adult sippy cups. Yeah, you put your wine in there and you can't spill it. <laughs> I think everybody should have an adult sippy cup, but that's just my opinion. So the second rack down is um, where it starts getting into more daily usage, like, you know, in that back corner, I'm left-handed, so I can reach that stuff easily back there. And if, um, you know, so, but just, you can see what the stuff is. I don't have to explain it to you. And then, uh, this little bit here, I have extra space here, you know, the fill. And then this space here is kind of like those condiments that everybody kind of keeps on hand. So I don't keep a lot of that stuff because I make most of my own, but I do have a little bit on hand because you just, sometimes you never know. Then here are my coffees. Now, I'm not a coffee snob. I buy what's on sale, as long as it's one of the brands I like. My coffee, tea, I keep some decaf on hand for when, you know, I have decaf guests. So, and then I have a few more bags sitting on the kitchen counter because I just swung by a store. And then we have jellies. Now, on the surface, it may look like we have a little bit of a, fe uh, of a fe fetish with jelly, but no, we don't. But it does seem like every time we go away that we buy a jelly from somewhere. <laughs> so, like this jelly, I want to say I'm kind of looking at it. It's, uh, well, we bought that in, I think, somewhere in North Georgia right before the holidays. And then, like, that jelly there is from a um, apple orchard uh, out in Tennessee. But it's, it's um, outside of Gatlinburg by Cosby. Actually a really good place. I buy my apples from them, actually, when I'm up that way. And then, uh, but most of the jellies in the back I had purchased before the holidays for baking. So those jellies will get used up with said baking when, you know, Easter's coming. So I'll, I'll use some of that stuff up. And that's just the back side of the, uh, the front of the rack there. So we get down to the next rack is back in here again, just below is my, um, bulk stuff, you know, the craisins, cranberries, croutons. I don't put bread on my salads, but, you know, I don't, I'm not the only one that lives here. And then uh, here I have my dehydrated uh, vegetables and spices. This is mostly backup stuff. And, um, like, I have tomatoes there. They'll be ground down to a tomato powder. I actually still have, you know, about 50 pounds of tomatoes in the kitchen that I have to work on tonight uh, after I'm done this. 
So that's from that same batch. So I'll, I'll have more to add to that. And then just again, just the just pantry stock level of my different canned goods. So this isn't all of my canned goods. This isn't, this isn't everything. This is just what I have in the daily rotation. So, and then we get down to the next level down, which is kind of at hip height. So this is where it gets a little, um, uh, not uncomfortable, but you don't want to have a lot of stuff down low. So I have my, behind the dehydrator here, I have my vacuum sealer, and then back next to the refrigerator, because again, I'm left-handed, so I can grab all that stuff. It's just my Ninja Mixer and the attachments and all that stuff, just stuff that has to go somewhere, but I don't have room anywhere else for it. And then behind the uh, dehydrator is, there's a you can barely see, it's like a basket, but it has like my, my dry beans and stuff in there. And uh, those are extra bags of nuts. Again, that's all from Christmas, so I have to use all that up, and I want to get them processed and, and, and stored somehow. So this is kind of like a utilitarian shelf. What, the reason I have the dehydrator here is because I have a plug, and I can do sealing, the vacuum sealing of the jars in here for the dry goods. So I just have it right in here, and I can put the jar right up on the shelf, boom, and I'm done. That works out really well. And it, because the plug is right here, I can actually pick this up. I mean, it's light. I can pick it up and bring it out to the kitchen when I'm doing a lot of, you know, vacuum sealing the different meats and, you know, big stuff that I don't want to, you know, you know, mess around with inside the pantry. And then on the very bottom shelf is literally just where, where you know, in, in most houses where things go to die kind of thing. <laughs> so I have my two canners. I have my, you know, I have my pressure canner and then my water bath back there. You know, the bulk, the bulk stuff here, and then some backup. That, most of that is just a backup uh, bone broth. Most of that's turkey and chicken. I still have a lot of space down here that's not fully utilized yet. Because in doing all of this, I really touched everything, and I only found one jar that was uh, had a seal broken, so it was really, really good. I was very pleased with that. And I also went through everything and made sure I checked all the dates on the stuff that, you know, was, you know I did find a couple of out-of-date thing, out things, and it was, it was really out of date, embarrassingly so, but that happens. That happens to all of us. That's why having a working pantry really, really helps. So that is the great pantry tour. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming along on our pantry, Deconstruct and Reconstruct. I hope you got something out of it. For me, the important thing is kind of let people know how we're doing it with the little bit of space that we have, because I think everybody can learn something from somebody else, so I think that's important. Um, but that's me. So I did want to point out is we have that light up there. We actually had <clears throat> changed out the cheap dome light that was there and we put that flat, bright LED in. So that, that, that lights it up, so it's really cool. So that's about it. So uh, if you like what you see, if you like our journey, please uh, hit like and subscribe and you know tell a friend about us. That's the biggest way you can help us expand our channel is just tell people about us and uh, hopefully they like what they see and they tell some more people and so on. That's it, my friends. I appreciate your time. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.